Hi, welcome to Smart PT. My name is Jonathan Reimer. This week we're talking about severity versus irritability. Uh, two variables that we hear in subjective histories and see physical uh, manifestations of as we're treating our clients. In my opinion, I put a little less uh, emphasis on severity. I'm sure we all have experiences where we get those clients that come into the clinic and they're 8, 9, 10 out of 10 pain, but yet functionally they're moving pretty normally. They don't seem to be really connected with the true severity of their pain. Uh, so I tend to look more at their movement patterns, how irritable things are. In terms of irritability, I'm thinking more in terms of how likely are they to have a flare up with the application of manual therapy or any other treatment for that matter. Um, that's my big concern. I have treated severe pain rated clients uh, with manipulation and had an immediate reduction in symptoms because they were actually somewhat sharp or higher severity, but it was more a mechanical type of pain. So my concern more so is when clients have a more chemically based pain um, and they're more irritable, uh, you might want to gauge how you treat with a manual therapy approach. You might want to potentially shy away from manual therapy, uh, the over application of it. I have found in my experience that more is not necessarily a good thing, more is not better. Many clients, when you treat them with too much manual therapy in irritable states, they tend to get flared up. And we all know what flare ups do to our schedule. It makes it very difficult to manage because the client's expectation is that we're going to fix that flare up, maybe even during the appointment. Those tend to be the people that a single appointment block ends up turning into three appointment blocks because you're trying to settle them back down. Or they come back the next day and they're significantly flared up and now you're delaying their recovery. You're not being able to do the same treatments. You're having to take big steps back uh, and that potentially lasts for a few weeks if, if you really flared things up. So my advice is really learn how to gauge irritability try to determine how likely the person is to have a flare-up and you're going to do your graded manual therapy tending to be lower grades if it's a high potentially high irritability and higher grades if you think the irritability factor is low uh, like i said don't get too hung up on severity we do need to be conscious of it and monitor it but as i said many times clients are a little out of touch with the true severity of their pain uh, like i said many of those people with 10 out of 10 pain that move relatively normally, it just doesn't equate, right? So uh, irritability and avoiding flare-ups is the key to success in managing a schedule comfortably. I can have a day with 40 clients and if I avoid flare-ups, um, treat and understand that irritability factor, I can go pretty smoothly. I can have a 20 client day and if I flare up a bunch of people uh, because I'm not in touch with the irritability factor, then that can be a nightmare day for me. So it doesn't always have to, it's more not so much about volume of clients that you're treating, it's more so, you know, that you learn how to read your clients and their tissues and understand how to treat them accordingly. Check us out on smartpt.ca or on Facebook.